A letter arrived for us today, a letter from quite a world away, written by someone we've never seen, sent from a place where we've never been. We're going to read you, that's if we may, this letter from quite a world away. You can't imagine, the letter ran, what modern wireless means to a man exiled here in this lonely spot. Or do you know that it means a lot? Down on your luck and all alone To hear the sound of a saxophone You can't imagine what it can mean Unless you've been upon the sea But best of all, the moment when We hear the chime of Great Big Ben And turn to somebody near and say That's Big Ben calling at close of day To us, a world away us poor devils a world away. This is the London station closing down. Good night, everybody. Good night. It comes to us each day from quite a world away. We wait in homes remote for its first move. such a thing as a theater ghost a theater ghost that waits until the crowd is gone and then at midnight maybe one comes out and i know what you mean a ghost like that i've heard and seen and met you've what i have you've not upon this very spot you've taken the wind from out my sails it must be the same old spook all right i met on the stairs the other night <laughs> Each theater has its ghost shade of a bygone day That lurks unseen behind a post that watches each new play There's one of whom the records tell his story you should know He was a fool in cap and bell three hundred years ago Ghost of an old king's jester, he's a wise old spook I vow but he's glad he pays that he's just a wraith and not a jester now. He watches with ghostly anguish young actors in their plight, who when a new play flanks of the so-called gags fall flat on the opening night. Is the modern audience handcuffed? Are their hearts all made of stone? He says to his spectral self, says he, and vanishes with a groan. <laughs> Court jester once was he, I vow, but he wouldn't be court jesting now. Three hundred years ago his tales would make the world king ring. Today they fall the Prince of Wales and aggravate our king. 
Loud laughs came easy in his life, no beads upon his brow. That was no lady, twas my wife, was sure fire then, not now. Ghost of an old king's jester, no wonder he'd rather stay. By hook or crook, a carefree spook than be on the stage today. His spectral punchinello he holds in a ghostly grip, and a knowing smile appears for a while and trembles upon his lip. Oh, my humor is now called slapstick, and a low-brow ghost am I. He says to his poor transparent self and vanishes with a sigh. <laughs> the truth in what he says, you know, for just or once as records tell. King's fool was he in cap and bell three hundred years.